Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So uh, welcome to your readings for the month of October 2018. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and returning if you are doing so. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And because these are general readings, the energies can be switched. They can go either way. So just take it as it resonates for your specific situation. And if, does, if something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit because then that will only confuse you. Yeah. Um, I do want to extend a very happy birthday to all of the Libras, since in the Western system, we are in Libra season. Happy, very, a very happy birthday to you and a very happy birthday to the October Scorpios. Yes, because we will be moving into your season in late October. Now, if you are you, if you resonate more with the Eastern system, of which I do personally, then we are still technically in Virgo season. So very happy birthday to the Virgos out there that resonate with the Eastern system. Yeah. Um, if you don't know which side you resonate with more, uh, I have provided some links in the description box below. If you like, you can go to those links and you can put in your birth uh, data and calculate your, your birth chart for both the Western and the Eastern system and see which one you resonate with. For me personally, I grew up believing I was a Taurus sun, but then when I started investigating and learning about Eastern astrology, I learned that I'm actually an Aries sun and that kind of fits a lot better. I resonate with that much more. There is no absolute answer as to which system it's, is better. It's really all about what you resonate with the most. And of course, depending on no matter which side you're on, still watch the videos. They can resonate at whichever, in whichever way is best for you. Okay. That is all your decision. Either way, the readings are here for you to watch. Yeah. So, um, just a little bit of shop talk. I am available for personal readings. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can get my email address from the description box below, as well as a list of all of the readings that I offer. Um, if you cannot decide which reading would work best for you after going through the different options, you're still welcome to email me and we can chat a little bit about what is going on with your situation and I will help you decide which reading would be best for you. Yes. I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. If you would like to schedule a time to meet with me and have an in-person reading, in -person reading for face to face, you can find the link to the website for Om Shanti in the description box below. And once you get to the website, you will find their phone number. You are encouraged to give a call and let them know if you would like to book a reading ahead of time. Otherwise, walk-ins are 100% absolutely welcome. Just come on down whenever you have a chance. Yeah. For the readings this month, we're doing the same as we did as last month. So we're go using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, you guys. It's so pretty. And then, of course, we're finishing out with my best friends, the unicorns. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So... I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to the readings, guys. <laughs> hey, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the month of October. Thank you so much for joining me. I do want to say a very happy birthday to the October Scorpios out there. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you... It's funny. I was channeling, just connecting with your energy to begin with, um, and I was seeing a lot of purple for you guys, but... Normally, purple would talk about, uh, for me at least, purple would talk about like the crown chakra or, you know, third eye, intuition, um, divine wisdom. But for you guys, I was really getting um, energy of Halloween. Um, so some of you might be preparing for your birthdays if your birthday is around Halloween or at least is in the end of the month. Um, and then, oh gosh, I'm shuffling already. I mean, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, but then also... Some of you might be getting ready for Halloween. I know I have one friend who is a Scorpio uh, and like her, she loves, 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 loves Halloween. Like that's like she lives Halloween all throughout the year. So it's kind of, I don't know, that's just what I was getting from you guys. But 
It could also talk about um, psychic ability, psychic intuition, um, or, or a psychic attunement, you know, expansion of your um, psychic abilities. Your third eye might be opening. You might be working on opening that. Your crown chakra might be expanding and opening as well. Okay. So anyway, let's get started, shall we? All right. Hey, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Scorpio for the month of October to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, so I'm just going to give a few shuffles here. And um, we'll see what we get, yeah? Scorpio. Oh, 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 okay. All right. Um, all right, so there are some flyers that want to come out here. Uh, we've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. We've got the Sun in reverse. We've also got the Six of Cups. Um, Wishy-washy energy. Okay, that's the first thing I'm hearing when it comes to the Knight of Wands. Some of you might be, might be blocking this type of energy. Some of you might be ending this type of energy. Some of you might be choosing not to be so wishy-washy. Um, there could be some situations where uh, there could be some situations where things were are being highlighted from childhood here. Whoops. Yeah. Oh. Okay. The six of cups and then the five of cups is right underneath that. Um, there could be some things illuminated from childhood. Um, that has caused you some issues here and the illumination is coming from the sun in reverse So I'm feeling like some of this illumination may not be the best um, It may not be things you really want to see um, Maybe maybe it might be things that you may not really want to look at uh, But ultimately this is helping you grow. This is helping you expand. This is helping you change um, This is influencing a change for some um, but there's also, there's some, maybe there's some sort of, um, situation from childhood that has influenced you to be this kind of wishy-washy energy, this back and forth, this not really wanting to commit to anything. I'm picking up an energy of not really wanting to get, uh, be a part of something too much to, to really let yourself be known too much. Um, um, for fear of, uh, becoming too intimate with someone. Um, there may be things about yourself that you you hide or that you don't want people to know. You don't want to let people get too close. Um, that kind of thing. I feel like that could be changing here. If it's not changing, um, then you're choosing with the sun in reverse, you're choosing not to look at things. Even though it might be true, the universe might be trying to illuminate it for you you still might be choosing to stay wishy-washy, to stay stuck in this Knight of Wands energy here. Um, but ultimately though, it still has something to do with childhood. There is some childhood healing that needs to be done, some childhood wounds that need to be addressed. Uh, or at least it's something from the past. Someone from the past could be trying to come back um, and you're, but they're still bringing forward that um, here one minute gone the next energy and you're just not having it you're just like no this um, no and with the Sun in reverse that's kind of saying to me that you are very well aware some and just to, to a certain degree you may be very well aware of what this is and you're not having it for some of you it could be you, it's like an energy of you you really should know by now and then and yet you're not really getting it you know, or at least you're just going back, getting back into that cycle with them and it's just going to turn out the same way. The sun, wow, okay, more. We've got the fool in reverse, the four of cups in reverse, and the seven, of, I'm sorry, the four of cups is upright, and we've got the seven of wands in reverse here. <laughs> the seven of wands to me is saying a hard no. 
a hard no. This is a rejection of an offer here with the Four of Cups in reverse. This is the rejection of um, a new start. But to me, this fool, with the new start is with the fool. But to me, the fool here in reverse is saying someone's not being foolish. And this has absolutely everything, to, uh, has a lot to do with the flyers that came out before. Um, the Seven of Wands here in reverse is someone is maintaining their boundaries. This is like you're really not going to be able to penetrate their um, boundaries. Okay. Okay, but there's also, of course, there's more to see. There are more ways to look at this because this is a general reading. Um, you know, it. Uh, I apologize for any noise in the background. Um, I am on the street side of the block now, so there's a lot of noise that's coming in from the street. So I apologize if you're hearing that. But, wow. I'm sorry, that's really distracting. Um, what I'm getting here, for the most part, this is someone who's really keeping their guard up and is not allowing someone to penetrate. At the same time, though, someone could be acting in a pretty foolish way in just letting this, this Knight of Wands come rushing back in, okay? The fool is in reverse here, where what they should be doing is rejecting the offer, saying, no, we're not going to do this anymore, okay? I, I've had enough, but I don't know. It's up to you. Are you going to are you going to go through this cycle again with this person, or are you going to let the past be the past and move on? You know, move on to something better, move on to something stable, or at least move on to someone that you know is willing to stick around for longer than five minutes. You know what I mean? Like, but hey, if that's what you're into, if that's your thing, please don't let me judge you. But I mean. What happened the last time is all I want to really say about that. I don't know. All right, Scorpio. I'm going to give you two more shuffles, and then we will get started. Scorpio. I'm still seeing purple. So actually, this really could be your psychic ability um the veil is pretty thin around this time of the year so you might be you might be experiencing an increase in psychic ability um and all that good stuff but as a scorpio as a water sign you tend to be pretty intuitive anyway okay all right scorpio so starting you off we've got the devil here okay and i'm gonna be quite honest with you this kind of already feels like it falls right in line with the fires that came out here the devil. Now, this could be, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this is that toxic energy of the wishy-washy, you know, one-night stand type person that's coming back around, okay? The devil. We've got the king of pentacles. We've got the three of wands. And then we also have the king of swords. Okay? So, I really feel like the king of swords energy really should be you at this point well okay this is a general reading so this could go either way either this is you scorpio needing to have the hold the king of swords energy or this is the 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 cross watcher or the person that you are dealing with okay now you scorpio you could very well be that knight of wands that was coming out all right um it could go either way take it as it resonates okay this is a general reading what I'm getting here, the first thing I thought I felt when I saw the King of Pentacles was someone that is very, um, uh, the first thing I thought of was someone, especially in terms uh, or in relation to the flyers that came out, is someone that's very egotistical, very much in, in full of themselves, um, really only wants to go after something for what they can get from it. Um, and that was that Knight of Wands energy that I feel that has been coming through here. Um, and so with the devil and the three of wands, I, I, what I feel like is happening here is for the most part with the king of pentacles also, you, you may have been working on manifesting something. And at this point you are waiting for the, the manifestation to come in with the three of wands. You're waiting for the return in your investment. But I feel like there are some sort of distractions that may be coming into play. That could be the Knight of Wands energy here. And what you're needing to, and, and, and so, okay, so for some, I was feeling that King of Pentacles is a reflection of that Knight of Wands energy. So it could be 
Um, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, guys. They're doing work outside my building right now, and it's super distracting. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. So, um, I have to regain my, my train of thought here. For some of you, the King of Pentacles is that wishy-washy energy, okay? The Knight of Wands that was coming through. But for others, it's that Knight of Wands is really just a distraction. And that's what's really coming through here more with the devil, okay? It's, and, and so, but for the most part, there is something that you've been trying to manifest here, I really feel like. And that's what's coming, also coming through with the King of Pentacles, okay? And so now you're waiting for your, your return on the investment. But the devil is trying to trip you up, okay? It's trying to cause you to doubt. It's trying to cause you to fear. It's trying to, to distract you from what it is you're trying to do, what it is you're trying to accomplish or um, manifest. And what you're needing to do here is really be discerning, okay? Really look at things as objectively as possible. Look at what really could be distracting you and really try and cut that away, okay? Cut away the distractions. Cut away the superfluous bullshit, you know, the things that are just going to get in the way of your manifestations, all right? So let's get into your first half of your month. The current energies for the first half of the month, we have the Page of Swords, okay? Being on the lookout, um, and that's really, um, I'm just really seeing a, a mirroring effect between this Three of Wands and the Page of Swords, Yeah. If someone is just is like on the lookout, waiting for something to come in, um, you might be investigating something also. Um, but if you're in, if you're waiting for the return on an investment, if you're waiting for something to manifest, looking into it too much is really just going to put more resistance into the situation. Okay, the Page of Swords is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so yeah, you really are waiting for the return on your investment. That's what I'm getting here. I am, I am so sorry for the jackhammering in the background. If you can hear that, I apologize. But I'm going to get through this, okay? I'm going to power through this for you guys. So um, you're really just, you're waiting on a return on your investment here. Um, and this is a good thing. Um, you may also be... Um, investigating ways to help this come in faster, but I really feel like that could um, really just put more blockages in the way, okay? Second set of current energies for the first half of the month. Oof, you've got the page of, uh, not the, the five of swords, conflict here. Um, now, the Ten of Pentacles does talk about family, so there could be some conflict within the family life here. Um, there may be, maybe you're having some issues with your father, with the King of Pentacles. Um, five of Swords is coupled with ye, the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so very interesting. Um, the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles is talking about conflict here. Someone got left out in the cold. I really feel like maybe someone got thrown out of the house. Um, ooh, that's really intense. Um, and it's not, I mean, it's, that's, that's literally the, the energy that I'm feeling here, that someone like just got thrown out of the house somehow. Someone got kicked out in a way. Um, and now, so you could be looking for a new home. Could be that kind of energy here. Uh, yeah. So the current challenge, two of pentacles, keeping the balance, okay, is coupled with <laughs> the queen of cups, keeping the, uh, and keeping the balance on your emotions. This could be you here, Scorpio. This is a very intuitive nature also with the queen of cups. Potential outcome. Well, please excuse the pause. I'm really just kind of trying to channel here. 
and see what else is going on. Yeah, potential outcome in the beginning of the month, we have Queen of Swords. Discernment, again, you have the King of Swords underneath the deck. The Queen of Swords is coupled with the Seven of Swords. So this is, this is very interesting. There's a lot of conflict around you right now, um, Scorpio. And to me, honestly, to me, the Queen of Swords here with the Seven of Swords is this is someone cutting out the deception. So going back to our, uh, our, our initial flyers with the Knight of Wands um, in reverse, someone really could be cutting out this, this, this deceptive energy here, saying this really could be either you or the Cross Watcher for a Scorpio saying, no, I don't want this energy around anymore had enough done with over goodbye don't come around don't come around here no more you can call him tom petty don't come around here no more you know what i mean like i'm not i'm not for it i'm not about it i'm not the one bye i just don't want the drama now in the energy that i was getting with the five of swords and the five of pentacles someone either got kicked out or someone is leaving a home situation for in order to find a new one and this is there's a very independent energy here with the king of pentacles okay um so instead of saying no to someone and turning them away this could be with the queen of swords and the seven of swords here this could be you deciding to remove yourself from a situation okay uh, this could be family this could be home this also could be business Okay, for your second half of your month, we have Five of Wands, more conflict. Five of Wands is coupled with the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so asserting yourself here. And it's funny because when the Five of Wands came out, the first thing I thought of was there is some sort of conflict, chaos, differing of opinion with someone who is removing themselves from deceptive energy. And this very well could be family related, excuse me, with the 10 of pentacles here. And, um, and so because of that, now someone really wants to assert their independence and, and, and the others around them are kind of like, well, you can't do that. But then you at the other hand, I'm like, well, actually, yes, I can watch me, <laughs> watch me. Yeah. All right. For the second set of current energies for the second half of the month, you have the Empress. Excellent. So there's a lot of abundance around in order for this manifestation to come through. This could be something that you may have been working on for a long time, which is why I was picking up with the King of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. You were waiting on a return for in your investment. So this really could have been a situation that started in the past, especially since Last, or, or for the month of um, September, your title for Scorpio was No More Deception and No More Lies. And I remember speaking to you about how someone um, saw through somebody, saw right through somebody, okay? So now in the second half of October here, you're, you're really manifesting, you've got the abundance to manifest what you need in life, okay? The Empress is coupled with, yeah, look at that, the Three of Pentacles. This is self-mastery, but this is also uh, building from the ground up. You could be working with others. There could be some other people in your life that are going to help you rebuild. Um, you could be working with uh, new business partners, in a sense. Um, you could just be working with, with, with previous or the same business partners just to um, expand or Re, um, reorganize, reassess, something like that. But ultimately, you've got the em energies of the Empress on your side here. So things are going to be turning, or things are at least are quite abundant for you, okay, in terms of this. The challenge for the second half of the month, Three of Cups, okay, teamwork, again, more teamwork, working together, um, celebrating. It could be a third party, though. Three of Cups is coupled with the Hermit. Okay, this could be a Virgo. Um, 
The Empress could be a Taurus or an Aries. But here, the Three of Cups and the Hermit. So there could need there could be a need um, to take some time away from the social atmosphere. Um, it could be a need to just really kind of like isolate and go within and figure things out. There could be, especially with how heavy these energies are, you could probably be drowning your sorrows, wallowing in, in things for a little bit. And instead, what you really need to be doing is going within to try and heal or at least try to figure things out on your own instead of seeking guidance from outside. Maybe it's, it's, I think it's about time to start really seeking guidance from within here, okay? The potential outcome for the second half of the month, you, you've got the Knight of Swords. Good, go, good golly, so much conflict here. Um, that's coupled with the Four of Pentacles. Oh, I hate to break it to you, Scorpio, or Cross, Cross, wow, Cross Watcher, but there could be someone doubling back to really like kind of start up a fight because again because they're holding on to something that's what I'm, I'm honestly that's the first thing i get from this it's like someone just wants to just wants to reopen a wound because they're still holding on to some sort of pain from the past some sort of argument that you that happened and here and look I'm really feeling like the King of Swords here and the Queen of Swords needs to be this one person that is, and I'm hearing staving off conflict, okay? Oh my. All right, Scorpio. So let's get some Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns for you here. Scorpio. All right. Here we go. For Scorpio, Oracle Guidance for the month of October, please. Oops. Here we go. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Just gonna let it fall out here. Scorpio. Here we go. <laughs> Anger. Okay. And honestly, this this is this feels good, even though it looks kind of negative. Anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. And the good thing I'm getting about this card here, I am being guided to look at the bottom of the deck, but the good thing I'm getting, yeah. All right, I'm going to take this one too. Um, the good thing that I'm getting about anger here is about using your anger, um, your frustration even, to as, as a guiding force, as a way to really work on manifesting a new outcome or a new situation, okay? This is not saying to fight fire with fire. This is saying use your anger as fuel. So whatever conflict you're going through here, Scorpio, Use it as fuel to get you out of it and get you to a better place. You've got sanctuary also. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. And so this is mirroring the message that was coming through with the Three of Cups and the Hermit here. Uh, the second half of the month, you really could even... I would say you could even do this in the beginning of the month for the whole month if you feel you need to even though your birthday is for the second half of the month. Um, oh, potentially, if you're a November Scorpio, I'm sorry, an October Scorpio. But uh, really take time to meditate, retreat. Um, and if there's a lot of conflict around you, you're probably going to need some time alone to recuperate, to regenerate, yeah? So if you really feel you need that time, go ahead and take it. All right, Scorpio? So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope this resonated with you. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, I apologize for all the noise in the background, but I want, I really want to get this out for you guys. So there you go. Yeah. Much love. Take care. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of November. Yeah. And a very happy birthday to the October Scorpios. Take care. Bye.